All right, well, I managed to get the tent set up. Uh, first time dry pitch, second time full pitch. Um, came together pretty well. I did miss a couple clips, but I was able to get them from the inside, which was very nice. Not even in the quilt yet, and the quilt is already too hot because it is like flipping 80 degrees and humid here. <laughs> and pretty much all I brought was cold hiking clothes. Uh, we got 21 miles tomorrow. We did 19 today. I'm going to be going a lot lighter weight tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to go for a comfort hike. Uh, I did what I came to do. I wanted to see what the Granite Gear Drop X60 was like on a 20 mile full loadout. And it rode fine. Felt great. But tomorrow I'm just going for ultra comfort. I am going to turn in and it is raining. So I'm really glad I brought to the... Um, dry pitch tent and uh, hopefully tonight's gonna be a great night. See you in the morning. Good morning. It appears you are rocking the alcohol stove this morning. Indeed. Look at that little guy. That's cool. That's just a classic look. I like it. It's the Tangia and I bought the titanium pot stand. Oh, beauty. This came with a uh, like a stand that circles all the way around it. Okay. But it's bulky and this is much easier. What you rocking for breakfast, Crow? Um, I don't even know yet. I gotta make a decision. I'm a big breakfast guy, so. Oh, nice. Biscuits and gravy. Doing the biscuits and gravy, yeah. All right, day two. Nice watch, we'll call it. Fife Lake <laughs> Loop. I'm filming with my phone because I forgot my GoPro charger base. <laughs> Rookie! The spreadsheet didn't work. This is starting off nice. This is very California right here. That's the Manistee River. Oh, beauty. So from what I've heard, there's not a lot to see on this trail, although it's actually started off very pretty. Not sure how much filming I'm gonna be doing. Like a moron, I forgot my GoPro charger base, so I'm just gonna be using the phone for now. But uh, looking forward to the trip. Oh, sweet. That's a beaut. So far, this trail is actually really nice. Got a great view of the Manistee River. Great view of this really cool old bridge on the uh, North Country Trail. A little section hike action. Woohoo! Rob's my kind of guy. You don't pass up a chance to walk across an old railroad bridge. Come on. Sites. Got a railroad bridge. We're like not even a mile into the hike and we've already seen all this stuff. Loving it. In case you're wondering, 
When you see two like this, it's indicating direction. So the bottom one tells you what trail you're on, the top one tells you where to go. So for example, this is indicating you should go right. And when I turn right, there's the next blaze. Starting to get a little bit of rain. People breaking out the rain gear. I didn't bring my umbrella. Kind of feeling stupid about it now. That would have been really cool out here. Not too bad right now. Just got my uh, ultra lightweight, ultra non-breathable frog togs jacket on. Side of the trails, kind of barren, but uh, still nice to be out. Sweet. <laughs> Surely that's not the bridge we were at an hour ago. Everybody says it isn't. I don't know. <laughs> so do we wait for Miyagi and Crow? Oh, is that them way down there? They Are... might be down here. Yeah, that's them. Uh... Yeah, so this part of the trail has been all sand slowing us down a lot, and it's just kind of straight through these rather unappealing woods. But somebody decided it was okay to drive a couch all the way up here and toss it out of the truck, I guess. We've lost Crow and Miyagi because they decided to take a different side trail. And we're not sure who's on what. But we should all meet up again. So in the meantime, I'm hanging with these guys. Catch back up now that I'm done with my talking. Stopped and had us some lunch at this nice little lake. One of the better parts of the hike is some decent little rolling hills and turns. Oh my gosh, what is this? This looks like that hill that Bigfoot did his trekking pole video on. Um, I was told there would be no hills. So Crow played us this uh, spoof country song called Down by the Lake, but it only has like two lines and I have got them stuck in my head. So now here we are at the lake. Hey Crow, where are we? Here by the lake. There it is. 80 miles from Santa Fe. Yeah, throw down. Let's see what you got there. Oh yeah. My stickers is bigger yeah. than yours. Mine satisfies, how about yours? and Mark. Miyagi and Almost are just flying ahead of us. They're probably already back at the campsite knocking out another trail or something because they're like jogging it. This is a very pretty spot. Kind of swampy. Anyway, this trail's been a nice cruiser. It's often pretty when you get off the roads and you kind of get next to the water. I think we've been hitting like 20s most of the time here, so three miles per hour average is not difficult to maintain. 
think we're about seven, eight miles from the end. We're just knocking it out. Tell you what, you need the blazes on this trail. It is just constantly taking off in different directions, crossing roads, turning into roads, turning off of roads. Now on the loop that we did, we actually began with orange blazes. We took this uh, Fife Lake Trail clockwise. Our camp was at about seven o'clock. We took the orange blaze trail up to about noon, and that's where we had our lunch. And pretty much from that campground forward, it was blue blazes. I'm following this little creek river thing for about an hour now. You got swamp grass, you got all these old moss covered logs going across. It's really a cool area. If the water was deeper, it'd be a great place to kayak. There's so many little twists and turns and little islands. Cool spot. Well, this stinks. <laughs> I have uh, torn or pulled or done something to the uh, lower shin muscle, ligament, tendon, whatever is down there that basically connects the front of your leg to the top of your foot. And it is pretty painful. Um, I don't think I've injured myself. I hope I have not injured myself. But um, it's uh, significantly painful and uh, it slowed me down a lot. I've done the last three miles in probably an hour and a half. So um, I think I'm out for tomorrow. No matter how good I feel when I wake up, I can't have this happen, you know, 10 miles into another 20 mile loop, especially given the, the warning signs that I've got right now. That would just be bad. It would be bad for everybody. I don't want to jack up. Uh, these other guys hike. I don't want to, you know, need an ambulance or an airlift or something stupid like that. It sucks. I mean, I came all the way out here. <laughs> Been planning this with Mark for months. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really going to be hard to not go tomorrow with everybody else. But I want to be able to keep hiking this year. <laughs> and I don't want to end up in a hospital in Michigan or something. So I don't want to just sit around tomorrow. But uh, I don't want to get injured either. It's just That's just dumb. Mark said that there is some pretty good stuff about four miles up the trail. So maybe I'll just go real slow, head up the four miles, chill wherever that is, and then uh, make my way back. And I figure if I'm going half the speed these guys are, and I go four miles and I hang out for a while and four miles back, um, I might just run right into them. So yeah, it's a bummer, but uh, you know, things happen. Things happen on trail. If this was a through hike, I would absolutely be taking a zero tomorrow. We joked about the uh, triple tiara um, for those who are slack packing it, but we're all kind of slack packing it right now. So I think we're gonna have to change some definitions around a bit. I'm thinking that right now a, a double tiara is uh, probably the best I'm gonna be able to do. Maybe a double and a half. We'll see what I feel like in the morning. But uh, I'm just not interested in getting injured or making other people suffer just so that I can feel all manly. That's not what men do. Men take care of their brothers, and if that means sitting out tomorrow so that my brothers can make it, then that is what I will do.